We're live. We're live. Action. New side? Yeah, New that's side? different. You don't normally sit there. This is throwing me off. Not used to this. Sean, you in here. We didn't have a... We, we got a decent question. Halloween themed. Fun oh, one. Really? But it was all right. Well, yeah. What's this? Uh, Halloween, uh, What's yeah, something scary about your team? Yeah. Spookiest. Spookiest, yeah. Spookiest, Spookiest thing about or your or team. Something. Yeah. <laughs> that, that was a good uh, no answer. Said. I said that. <laughs> anyway, let's start this thing. <laughs> Chris, you just finished off an unbeaten September, mm -hmm. uh, which has you rolling going into October, which is a good thing. Uh, but most importantly, uh, a win at home yesterday in Big Sky, which you have to defend your home field once you get to league and then get some results on the road. And you got off to a good start. Uh, um, as you work to defend your regular season championship? Yeah, good start to the season. Um, it's always hard in the first couple games as you try to get rolling. Um, everybody has belief, everybody wants to win, and so you've got to come out and get that first result. And just like football, we have a limited amount of games. We don't play everybody twice. So you slip up once or twice in this conference at this time, and that's pretty much the regular season gone. So uh, for us to come out of the gates the way we did after 10 days off was really impressive. Coach, uh, I believe Bayless had her fifth shutout uh, against NAU, um, but only two shots allowed the whole game. So can you just talk about the defensive effort that you guys have been putting in front of her the whole season? Yeah, Charlie Boone and Allie Henriksen and Reed Borseth. I mean, we've got some good players. Um, yeah, uh, tremendous defenders. And the, at the same time, we've got two holding midfielders who play in front of them that take care of business too. So collective effort from everybody. Uh, but when you've got somebody like Char who plays in the middle of that and orchestrates everything, it's, it's a lot easier um, for a goalkeeper. And then with just quite a few injuries on the team, you know, to go unbeaten in September, you know, what's it say about that, you know, next man up mentality? Uh, for the Grizz. Yeah, I'm still trying to figure it out. I don't know. I just don't ask questions and stay hands off. So uh, really impressive. And even with this whole, you know, next next man up, next woman up, next player up mentality that we got going on, there were still people behind the scenes who are probably annoyed that they're not getting their playing time. So um, it's a deep squad, uh, a lot deeper than I thought we were going to be, and really impressed by it. Troy, what's that like when you are going you know, you're playing well and so deep, but I imagine, you know, di every different players play different, so you might have to have new identities or chemistry with new players. Like, what has that been like, kind of trying to figure all of that out with so many players playing? Yeah, honestly, it's been awesome. Like, I feel like I'm still in this program, like, learning a ton from all the new players, and um, it's really cool that we can have players come in and the level doesn't change. It just gets higher and higher each year and in between games, too, as well. So I feel like I'm constantly learning, and it's a great environment to be in with such a deep squad. Hey Coach, what's the dynamic of, I mean, any, any of these teams that you play at home in the conference you could – play them again you know for the conference tournament so yeah. I guess like what is that like knowing that they're you could be facing any of those teams again at home and so what is that first matchup like you know yeah it's important to I guess we we have to put in a good performance at the end of the day maybe teams start to figure us out a little bit but the way that we're playing and flowing in attack is just really unpredictable so that helps us out as well but um yeah just conference plays is a completely different beast uh, stresses me out like no other but yeah, we just got to continue showing up, training well every single day, and then putting in good performances, and then put it all behind us once playoffs start, because that's, again, a completely different beast. Uh, and that ended up biting us in the butt last year, but I think we've learned those lessons well, and we'll come out flying. Charlie, when you hear the stat, seven games at home, no goals, all wins, just what does that mean as a defender and knowing just how good you guys have been at home? I think it's really, really exciting. Um, we definitely pride ourselves on it. Uh, practicing every day and, and during games, but I feel like we've put a lot of work into making the defensive unit a really strong unit. So um, it's awesome to see those results come out of it. Same question for you, Ali. Just you know, knowing that the conference tournament's here in Missoula, like does that instill confidence? Knowing just how good this team has been playing at home. Absolutely. I think like just the way we've been performing at home has just been so exciting and like credit to our crowd as well. It brings so much energy to the program and credit to the bench, credit to everyone. Like it's just so exciting that we can continue to be here in Missoula and play at home. With conference play underway, getting the two win over NAU, just describe the game. What was it like and kind of seeing a pretty dominant effort to start Big Sky play uh, yesterday? Totally. I think just the message going in was just to respect everyone and treat every opponent like 
just they're going to be as they're playing their best game against us. So just going into, it, I think we were professional, but also ready to start conference play on a good foot. So it was really exciting. Similar question, Chris. Just what was working? What was it like? You know, especially NAU's the team that got you in the tournament last year to you know kind of turn around and have a pretty big performance here yesterday. Yeah, um, we're just in a good spot. Uh, I feel like in terms of the the leadership, and we we've lost some of the leadership from within the squad, starting players, and so you start to think whether or not we can you know put in consistent professional performances game after game or are they going to be issues and yet again i feel like the the spine of the team has completely rebuilt itself um and we're playing extremely well and that's the most impressive thing is how the next player can just step in and do well and do well and do well and we've matured through games like air force and wyoming to now be performing really well in games like yesterday for you, as like the coach, does it instill confidence knowing just how good this team's been at home? Like, do you see it yeah. through that lens, or do you kind of just see it still kind of game by game? Doesn't really matter even if the conference tournament's here. How do you how do you view yeah, all that? Yeah, it still instills confidence for sure. But um, at the end of the day, what I've learned in this job here is it's anybody can beat you anytime. So uh, I don't think they ever get a day off. We even reviewed some film before our final practice, which wasn't the prettiest thing. <laughs> um, you know, Charlie and Ricky and Reeve, who are very good defenders, had to be called out for something that wasn't very good on a Thursday practice when we did 11s there. And we learned from that and continue getting better. And I think that's what allows us to compete at the level that we do compete at. Everything's scrutinized. And so they get called out all the time for things that they have to improve on. And that allows them to continue getting better and perform well on weekends. I guess for both players, you can start, Charlie. When you get into the grind of the conference season, what's it like when you're kind of so familiar with some of the teams and then trying to, you know, shake things up as you play them multiple times and just what that's like. Right. Um, it's definitely, it gets like, it, oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. It can get a little bit hard, but I feel like our team has done a really good job at just wiping each game and like starting fresh and remembering that we have to play to our identity, play to our strengths. Um, but yeah, it, it's hard, but that's part of season and that's why season is, uh, tough in the way that it is so yeah yeah I think we just have such a big excitement going into games too it's just every game is a new day and we just come in with a whole bunch of energy and it's just amazing to be a part of okay and then like for anybody Halloween type question I guess like what are you most scared of and not, not like you know losing at home but like I mean like spiders or snakes or something Oh, oh uh, let's start with Allie, and then I'll. I'll I'm gonna think. go with the smell of the locker room when the cleats have been sitting in there for at least a day or it's two disgusting. with the door closed. It's horrible. <laughs> Charlie, I'm gonna go those early morning practices when I see Ashlyn coming in, <laughs> like with two minutes to go, just putting on her cleats. It's yeah. a little scary. <laughs> We're talking Halloween right now, right? I can go anywhere that I want to go with this. Um, I don't like ghosts, so yeah, that's it. Yeah. Do you believe in ghosts? If I do, then they'll start appearing, so I try not to. Yeah, I'm one of those people that if you invite it in, it'll come. So nope, absolutely not. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you.